Good evening, PIC. Joyful Sabbath. We praise and thank the Lord for the wonderful experiences we have throughout this week. And indeed, the Lord has blessed us abundantly, uh, more than we can all ask or imagine. And now, um, after all the exams, we are here to rest in the Lord and worship Him in spirit and in truth. Um, this week, we are in our Sally Week, the Student Association of Literature Evangelists. And indeed, the Lord knows every heart that experienced Him through this canvassing work. And um, we are blessed to have a wonderful feature tonight. So I welcome every one of you in our um, Vesper program tonight. Um, can you extend your right hand and greet each other a joyful Sabbath and a happy Sale week, everyone? A literature evangelist will approach every person gladly with a smile. And so, I greet every one of you a joyful Sabbath. Tonight, uh, we will be seeing and experiencing a special feature that will um, give us a view, a glimpse of what happens about the life of a literature evangelist and how the Lord will use him to proclaim his gospel so that a person may be one to Christ and a person will meet God as his savior and king. And tonight, um, before uh, we will start, I'd like to read to you uh, this wonderful passage that we are all called to do so. Um, if you have your own Bibles with you, uh, please open it in Matthew 28, verses 18 to 20. And it says here, the Great Commission. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and to earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. May we experience the saving power of our King who unites us and, and calls us to be His co-workers in these last days. Happy Sabbath and may God bless us all. Happy Sabbath, everyone. I think that's not loud enough. Can we do it again? Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Amen. Happy Sabbath. So uh, we're so blessed to, uh, that God have, have uh, watched over us all throughout the week. And uh, this time, it's our turn to return all, all the praises and glory back to Him. Okay. Let us sing, Bringing in the Sheaves. Come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the 
ashes. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the ships, soaring in the sunshine, soaring in the shadows, fearing in the clouds, nor winter shade and breeze. By and by the harvest and the labor ended, we shall come rejoicing. Come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, going for the reaping, sowing for the master. Though the loss of saint our spirit of embrace. When our reaping's over, he will be us welcome. Shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing. continue our worship, shall we all stand and sing our theme song, the Bookman Rally Song. To proclaim the Advent story, there's a missionary band from posts of earnest bookmen who go marching through the land. In search of souls now perishing, that they may take their stand in the army of the Lord. Come and join the bookman army. Come and join the bookman army. Come and join the bookman army. Let's kneel for the world of prayer. Father God, we come to your presence just as we are. Indeed, you know everything unto us, nothing that we can hide unto you because you are the omnipresent God. And you know also our hearts and minds Thank you for creating us. Thank you for your love and mercy. Thank you, dear Lord, for allowing us to be here inside of this church. Father, allow us to experience your healing hand, that every wrong things and wrong habit that we have done unto, unto you, sin, 
that we are hiding those people around us. Please, please, Lord, I am bleeding. Heal us by your hand. This evening, I would like to pray that help us to focus our hearts and mind unto you. Remove those things that are hindering us to worship thy name. Lord, remove Satan in the midst of us. Surround us with your thousands of angels. Lord, please help the program this evening that your children will realize the importance of literature and evangelism to this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Understand it all, this happy burden, the raging battle, the endless fight. I don't see a way for God to lead me through it, to what would seem to be a never end. Beyond the 
to the everlasting peace. Abram LaRue. Excuse me? Him. Abram LaRue. Is your name? No. But that guy? His name is Abram LaRue. Oh, sorry, but do I know you? No. No, you don't. You see, I just know his story. Uh, okay, but... Um... Why is he crying so desperately like that? Oh, why? You see, that guy, he was a seaman. He traveled around the world till he was 50. Then, he located the city of San Francisco where he invested most of his earnings. Mm -hmm. But one day, a ravaging fire swept through San Francisco and all of his hard garden work in a <laughs> what? Oh, this 
lost his life? <coughs> yes, unfortunately, he lost everything. Help! No, everything that he has worked hard for. Oh, that's so sad. Yes, Are you okay? It's indeed sad, but that fine, tragedy but did not uh, define uh, the fuck. Wait, what define his life? Wait, uh, uh, nature is calling. Is there a lure out here? Uh. Okay, okay, come follow me. But wait, what define his life? Seriously? The lure is the swaying, ma'am. But anyway, after that experience, Abraham Maru left the city and went to the mountains to build his home. The mountain? Yes. The 12 page from one of the patients from that fire scene that happened a few days ago. Flowers, Mom. That fire is so big. Yes. I I feel sorry for the victims and also for the guy that living in the mountains now. Yeah. What is his name? Oh, okay. Abraham Lind Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln. I don't know, let's buy our coffee. Okay. Oh, wait, let's buy this one. Yeah. One Americano, please. One cappuccino. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Abraham Lincoln. Hey, come on. That is one of the, that is our first president of America, okay? Oh? The guy's name is Abraham LaRue. But you know, the guy will go here down to go to the marketplace and buy his food. Really? Yes. I see. Uh, wait. Oh, someone is calling. Hello? Yes, this is Dr. Carson. And Dr. Steve is with me. All right, we'll be there quick. What was that? Emergency. What happened? Do you know... Miss, Mrs. Jamila? Mrs. Jamila Denari. Yeah, sounds familiar. That patient from the far in ICU, room 5. Oh, okay. Pressure is dropping quickly. Really? Yeah, we need to go. Okay, let's go back to work. Let's hurry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, we're in hurry. Time. Let's go. I need to go. No. Um, but uh, I'm good. Are you experiencing chaos right now? See no next. Chaos? What do you mean? Why not try to find out? I'll give you the answer. Um. Okay.
This message is an awesome message from God. I think I need to study more about this. I want to study more about the Bible. Okay, I want to study more. Oh, and you know what, Andy? Through some chats and signs of the magazines, distributed by one of our brethren. Here. Brother Naru accepted the Advent faith and became, became an Advent believer. Oh, so that's how it started. Yeah. And then? And then, when, let's call it this, um, I forgot the name, but it's now Philippine Union College was established in 1882. Hurry up. 1882. Is that where he studied? Yeah. Oh no. You know what? Sometimes I forgot the story. But anyway, he went to this school. Yes. He took a Bible course. And then he was past 60 years of age. No. And it is said that. Uh, can you just remind me of the story, please? Because I really forgot it. You're supposed to tell me the story because I don't know it. Uh, but I think I heard something like he was a very good student and everyone thought of him as a patriarch or something. Uh, yeah, he reminded one of a patriarch and he really wanted to mingle with younger students. I see. His story is really inspirational, isn't it? Yeah, it's very inspirational. Hey, the set is clear. We're ready for the next scene. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go. Congratulations! You are graduated now. Congratulations! Look, Mr. LaRue. Congratulations, Mr. LaRue. Congratulations, we're so proud of you. Congratulations to everyone of us. You know what? We need to celebrate our graduation. Yeah. Yes. What do you think if we go to our home to celebrate? Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Yes. In 1888, LaRue settled in the island of Hong Kong. Secretary. Just lying on the sea coast of the sea. And then all the seafarers and wayfarers, oh my god, they went to there. And all the biblical literature were attractively displayed. Oh, it's really good. And you know, after that, Abram's literature evangelism, it grew out here in Asia. Wow, it's so good. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, what you doing? Jam, I'm telling you the Abram Lurie story. Albie's over there. We're supposed to sit there, right? <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It's fine, let's go. Okay. There. Okay. Albie. Okay, let's move. You know what? I need the books to be over there. Boys, 
the books and the pamphlets. I want to be stuck it here. And then the new published uh, daily magazine, uh, the daily science of the, uh, I mean, the daily published, I think must, Contipa. Uh, right, right. Um, Sir, excuse me. Wait. So, excuse me. All yes. the boxes of a literature book is here now, and they're already arranged. So, we're cleaning your room. So, what do you want? You want to put it sign? No, no, no. Wait, wait. I want my office to be near the window, right? Oh, okay. And okay. then, like, you arrange everything, and then I want to be listed the new. Purchase book. Oh, purchase, purchase, yes. and you want to near at the. Okay, oh, okay. Excuse me, sir. All of that. All. Of That's all. Okay, I have to go now, sir. Bye. I think I have a visitor. I think I have a visitor today. Can you please uh, remind me some that I think we have. Oh, Captain! How are you, Captain? I'm fine. Oh, it's been so long to see you, my friend. Yes, I think it's almost 20 or 25 years that we don't have communication. Yeah, it's great to see you. Oh, um, how is your trip going here? Ah, uh, it's fine. It's good. Okay. Um, well, by the way, how is uh, how is your life going way back in your country? Ah, uh, it's all right. Yes, I know. Uh, okay, bye, bye. Yeah, uh, I think I need to give you some books and other literatures. Uh, okay, okay. I have something to tell you. You know, when you gave me a book, when I read that book, it has really changed my life. You know, the gospel of the Lord is so very strong. Yes. It's okay. You can do it again. And uh, I remember that book that literature touch and reach out a lot of people including you right thank you so what if we have um move to the kitchen and eat some food oh you're so very kind of you my friend but my apologies is uh, tomorrow I have a I have a hectic schedule, so I cannot go with uh, I this uh, this up this day. So my friend, I'm so sorry. Well, um, okay. Uh, if that's so, I will give you the literature and continue your work, your ministry, and I hope that this book will uh, reach a lot of people. Okay. Um, can you please help uh, Captain to bring help the books? Help the Captain. Yes, three and. Uh, uh, it's one small box and then this one going back to his ship. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, yes, that one yeah. and the, the other one. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, um, it is nice to work with you and I hope that we'll be working together a lot more. And God bless your ministry. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Sorry, excuse again. Uh, do you have a, do you, uh, you have appointment again, to Sir Captain John, about the book of literature? Oh yes, I remember. He ordered uh, uh, every book that we have. Okay, let's go to Captain John and uh, let's see if he will purchase every book that we have here. Let's go here. Abraham Leroux was the first missionary to come to Asia to distribute books and literatures. And it was sent all throughout the continent, right? Yes. And it sent forth, it sent food on the Philippines. Uh-huh. With God's chosen missionaries and uh, distributors. One of the associations in the Philippines are call, is called um, the Student Association of Literature Evangelists. Yes, and there was once a leader, right? Yes, and his name was, his name, his name 
is Mr. Ray Balboa. Ooh. Couldn't help you, but you see, we can pray for you. <sighs> and also, yeah, that's right. We would like to give you also this. Oh, yeah, that's right, Ray. Maybe I have a spare money here. Here. Also, I'm giving my number. If you need something, you can just contact us. If you can go home safely. Okay, we will go to the police station later. Just call us and we will help you. Okay. Yeah, can we pray for you? Okay. Amen. Okay, God bless. Yeah, it's so hot here in Davao. Oo, oh, init ka ayo ba? Pero, ay, na to. Uy, kuya, kuya. Ay, uy, do, hey, don't be afraid. Don't be, be afraid. Um, we're just, yeah, and we're just looking for a place. Yeah, Dr. Jamila Tinabri's clinic. Do you know where it is? It? No? Uh, uh, before you go, kuya. I give him. I give him a, okay, here. Oh. What? You know, I can. What was that? That guy really looks familiar, but yes. oh well. Let's look for we that need clinic. To go to the clinic of yeah. Dr. Tinari. Oh, there's the clinic. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Knocking. Knocking. Ayo. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, um, I'm sorry, but my clinic is closed now. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you Dr. Jamila? Yes, I am. Why? Yeah. Uh, we're, I'm Mirasol, and this is my friend Ray, and we're representatives of the Philippine Publishing House. Yeah. Uh, oh, we would like to suggest that? some books for you if you want. Oh, okay, yes. that's really good. So, pasok po. Pasok po uh, thank you. Okay, pasok tayo. Oh, wow, you have a nice yes, clinic. Oh, I'm um, sorry, uh, doctor. I'm sorry, I organized my clinic. clinic oh. Where should I put this one? Your oh, clinic yeah, is so you know. large. Marie, Marie, oh. two chairs, please. Oh, yeah, thank you. That's so. So, good morning. Oh. Good morning, Doc. Doc, na huya ko, Doc. So, ano yung sinasabi nyo kanina? Oh, yeah, we There's would like to introduce some books oh, for wait. you. Marie, Marie, water for them. Juice, okay, ma'am. Ah, uh, juice. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's have just for the visitor. Thanks, Marie. So, anyways, again, ma'am, since you're in the medical field, we would like to, you know, uh, suggest this book to you. This is Health and Home, and I think you will really need this in in your field. Oh, let me see. Um, so, ano nakukuha? Ano makikita ko dito sa loob? You see, ma'am, in that issue, it talks about natural remedies. You know, yes, yeah, there's a lot of medicine right now is always chemical. It's yes, all chemical. I know. That's <laughs> I'm why, a doctor. yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I really need this one because it's herbal, right? Yes. So, can I get ten copies? Ten copies? Yes. Oh, I should share it with my amiga. Ko. Oh, wow. That's good. Also, you can share it to your wow. patients. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can you please uh, sign? Yeah, thank you. Ah. Ten copies, what? Thank you. So, I do deliver I, you na lang dito? Yes, yes. yes. Thank you so much. Kailangan, kailangan ko to. Yes, thank yeah. you so much. God bless you, Doc. Yeah, hindi ka na kayo sa labas. I thank you, Doc. Uh, uh, this way, please. Thank oh, you so much. I couldn't Mami. believe this. Ito ang ganda ng clinic ni Doc. Yes. Oh. Um, um, Doc, Doc, before we leave, can we pray for you? Pray. Yes. Uh, maganda yan. Sige, yes. let's pray. Marisol, can you pray? Okay, let's pray. Amen. Oh, thank you so much, Doc. Thank you so much. We're so, we're so grateful and thankful to God that we met you. You're such yes. a nice person. Wow. You too, guys. Okay. So, thank you so much. Deliver got 10 copies, okay? Okay. okay thank Goodbye, you. Doc. Bye. Wow. Whew. I can't believe Ray and I are married. Oh, thank you so much, mga kuya. I, yes, put it here, put it here. Thank you. Oh, what's that? Whew. Wow, a nice home. <sighs> it's so nice to be in a married life. <sighs> I wonder where Ray's is. Han, Han, where are you? <sighs> you always took long to yes, get changed. Oh, you're still arranging your stuffs? Yes, it's so <sighs> heavy. Yeah, I think we should put them in our basement or something. Uh, Anyways, are you ready for your first day of work? Wow. Yes, work, work. Okay. This is a nice place for yeah, us. Yeah, it is. <sighs> nice chandelier. Yeah. Oh, I didn't recognize we have a chandelier. Yes, I think this is from the past occupants. Oh, Han, I think you're late for work. Oh, yes. Um, I guess. See you okay, all. See, see you later. Yeah. I need to go. Goodbye, Han. Don't forget to drink your medicine, okay? Oh, yes. You always forgot to drink your medicine. Sure, I will okay. not forget the medicine. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Hey, girl. Oh, Wait, um, careful! Are you girls okay? Yeah, we're, we're okay. okay. We're okay. Um, girl. Uh, oh well. Where did you live? You you look like um. Uh, ah. we we live upstairs. Um, upstairs. Oh, I'm I'm I'm. The sorry. same apartment. Oh yes, the same apartment. So you live downstairs. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm so sorry. I said upstairs a while ago, but we're living downstairs. Ah. Uh, I think so, we're going ahead because okay. she's a little bit too neighbor. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Yes, neighbor, neighbor. Uh, Bye. Keep safe, keep safe. Girl, what's out? I'm late. What's wrong with you? I'm late with my work. Oh, no. Careful.
Oh, it's already evening, right? It's already evening. I need to go home. Honey! I think my husband's here. Honey, welcome back. Hi. Oh, you look so tired. Yes, it was a tiring day. How's, the, how's your first day of work? It's nice, but a lot of people I encounter this day. Really? Like yeah, who? Like, there's two ladies. They're staying at the same apartment downstairs. Oh, downstairs of our apartment. Yeah, and they're like working in uh, lights with on and off lights. Oh, I get it. There are yeah. guest relation officers. That's right. Guest relation person. Officers. Officer. Oh, I don't think. I think, Maybe? honey, I think we need to reach out to yeah, them. Yeah, those people really need to be rich. That's they right. They need they really to have need Jesus in their lives. Yes. Oh, honey, I have a good idea. What? <laughs> what if we invite them for a d dinner tonight? A dinner? Yes, I'll cook. Tonight, tonight. Yes. But it's past 7. Oh, eight, come on. I'm a good eight, cook eight, and a faster one, okay? Okay, I will invite you, them. You go I'll downstairs go. and invite them. I'll just cook in our kitchen. Where is the apartment? I think downstairs. So this is the stairs and then down. Okay. Knocking. Is there anybody home? Knocking. Ayo. Wala siguro itaw dere. Maybe they're still working. Okay. Uh, I'll go back tomorrow. Honey? Oh, wait, honey. Hi. Hi. Oh, honey, what did you do to our door? Uh, Anyways, let, what's they, up? They're not there. I think they're still working. Oh, that's because so it, bad. Anyways, let's just, you know, try tomorrow. Okay. Anyways, come on, let's, let's eat, eat our dinner. Oh, there's our kitchen, honey. Okay. Good morning. Oh, good morning, honey. Good morning, honey. What? <sighs> Why do you look so... Yeah, I'm so tired, dear. But anyways, it's your second day. Yeah, second day of work, uh, work, work. But it's for the glory of God, okay, remember? Uh, I'm late. I need to go. Oh, how about your breakfast? <laughs> no need to breakfast. There is a canteen in our office, so... Okay. Let's just... okay. See you. Bye. Bye. He's always yeah, in a hurry to go to work. And, seriously, I hate that customer. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, Mr. You, do, do I know you? Uh, not really. You don't know him? Um, I don't, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't know him. You don't remember him. Because you're a little bit tipsy last night. Oh, really? You live all oh. Oh. Yeah, I live upstairs. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. You I live that. upstairs. <laughs> so sorry. Stop that. I'm so sorry if you've seen me that in that state. Uh. I, I hope I didn't do anything wrong last night. Um, no. Right? No yeah, problem. Yeah. How about I invite you to meet my wife? Really? Oh, oh that would be Let's good. have some yeah. dinner in our house. Sure. Uh, it's can we? Let's go. Let's go, darling. I'm sorry. 
Honey. Oh, wait, honey. Honey. Are you there? Oh. Yes. Oh, let's go. Come in. Come in. Oh, we have a guest. Hello. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, why? Hello. <laughs> They're the Hi. one I met yesterday. Good. Oh, I see. The. Oh, please do come in. Let's go. Sure. Oh, please seat. Takes. Have a seat. So... You two are quite very pretty. Thank mm. you. So, what's your name, by the way? My name is Anna Lynn. Anna Lynn. I'm Magdalena. Magdalena. Yeah. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. Oh, if you must know, me and my husband just moved a while, uh, a days ago. Yeah, and my husband is a, and me, of course, is a literature evangelist. Yeah. Yes, what, right. what, what's good. that? What, literature evangelist. Yeah, you, why you, you explain to them what's literature evangelism? That's the work of a print literature who yes. can, you give some oh. print um, pages, yeah, books printed books to, to everyone people. to spread the gospel of God. Spread the gospel. That's right, honey. And my husband, he's working in a um, South Seventh-day Adventist mission here in Davao. Seventh-day Adventist. Yeah. So Davao should not show. Oh. Yes, I know that. Um, actually, I know that Christ is coming soon. Oh, so how's your preparation going, sister? Preparation? Yes, Jesus is coming soon. Yes. Stay beautiful. beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Jesus is coming. Stay beautiful. Right. Oh, I see. In my work, I, I don't have much time for preparation, you know. Oh. If you see, if you see how dirty my work is, I can't even go to, I, I can't even go to church anymore. Oh, please say no more, sister. Oh, don't cry. You see, we have just the right thing for you. Yeah. What if yeah. we give them books? Of course, I have them here. This I've one, always prepared, honey. Okay, why don't you give them those? This one for you. This other one is for her. You see, those printed books, even though some people neglected them, they are not perishable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you, but I don't have money to pay. Oh, no, no, no needed. If, it's free. If you have the payment, if really? just, yeah, you can no just need. come to our house and just pay it. Yeah. Okay. But Thank for you now, so it is not needed. Thank you so Thank much. You. Okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, I, oh no, I'm, I'm cooking. this later. Okay. Vegetarian adobo. Let's see. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't. I'm very sure you two are very, yeah. very hungry. Let's go to our kitchen. Come on, I cooked something. Come. Vegetarian adobo. Yes, it's, it's delicious. I don't that. I'm very sure you will like it. Oh, really? Is that taste good? Yes, yes. Yes, my baby is here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, wait, oh. it's so heavy. I really didn't detect Cagayan de Oro is a beautiful place indeed. Yes, let's, oh. let's go be. there. I think the, our comrades are waiting for us. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. I'm pretty sure the part is here. What if you go over there? Okay, the back maybe. Let's go. No, I think, honey, we went the wrong way. Oh, uh, wrong. Okay, let's go there. Where is that function hall? Yeah. Where's the seminary? Where's SPUC? Hey, um, excuse me, do you know where's the seminary, the SPUC? Oh, okay. They Thank don't you. know. It's not us. I think we're lost. Hmm. Where is that seminar? Yeah. Where's the function hall that we? They invited us. Is that the right uh, appointment? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe we're too early. Hmm. Wait. Wait. Let's go back to our hotel. Let's go. Here. Okay. Oh. 
Huh. They're still not here. This is the place, I think. I know. But where are the people? Hmm. Maybe we're too early. Yeah, maybe we're too early. What if we go back home? Well, let's go back to the, you know, the, 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 the place that where we went in. I think that's the place. Come on. Oh, they're, they're here. Oh. oh why they're, they're here. here. Over. It's a, wow. It's such a surprise. Please oh. welcome Mr. and Mrs. Balboa. Um, Oh, hey, congratulations. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank pastor. you so much. <laughs> I would like to thank you for having each one of us here to celebrate my being as a director of yes, the new director. New director of the Philippine Publishing House. I thank the Lord for this privilege, this opportunity that He has given me. And uh, may this work reach so many people. May this printed literature may uh, go through around the world. And I praise the Lord for this. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for welcoming us. Congratulations. Oh, anyway. We prepared food for you. Let's go. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Honey. Honey, you sit beside me. Oh, the midweek is. Oh. Come on, the midweek starting. Oh, I start. Okay, wait. And my testimony and my verse is John 3:16. Amen. Let's all stand for a closing prayer. Let's pray. Thank you for this evening that you've given to us. Amen. 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 Happy Sabbath, brother. Happy Sabbath. I mean, happy midweek. Happy midweek. Mid I'm so sorry. Happy midweek. 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 Who is this? Oh. Oh. Happy Hi, guys. Guys. It's, been, it's been so long. Who is this? Oh, my, my daughter. daughter. Yeah, Elizabeth. Yeah, you're still in uh, going to school in AP? Oh, how's your studies? Okay, that's I'm good so books for boys, okay? Okay. Oh, honey. It's been a long time since we saw them. Oh, let's see. Bye. Happy midweek. Oh. Oh. Do you remember me? Yes, I do remember you. She, she's Annalene, our neighbor in Davao. Yes. Yes, the one. Um, uh, yes. Yes. Um, you know, I'm really thankful to God and to you, you guys because I have good news for you. Who oh, was? I'm. Uh, uh, I I was converted. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. The book that you gave me. Oh yeah. yeah it yeah. really changed my life. And oh, yes. thank you so much. And second thing, I'm already a literature evangelist too. Yes. You're a literature evangelist too. Yes. You guys inspired me blessing. so much. Yes. And lastly, wait, I have someone to introduce to you. Oh, someone to introduce to us. Who hmm. could that be? Yeah, really, honey. It's my oh. husband. Oh, district pastor. 
nice you didn't know your wife we know your wife i didn't know that you the two of you are married <laughs> oh so i see you are like speechless yes that is so inspiring well wow i can't imagine that this ministry reach a lot of people and i thank the lord that he moved every heart that received that message. Yes, amen. And I can say that literature is really, really powerful. Amen. I can't imagine that if we work for the Lord, if we submit our lives to Him, just work and He will do the rest. Yes, indeed. Wow. So, what if we... Yeah, um, can we invite you for a dinner in our house? Sure. Yeah, I like inviting I like people. Ride. Come on, let's go. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, this way. We would like to thank Sister Goldie for the super presentation this evening. It portrays the life of a literature evangelist. They started from the very beginning of the work in the publishing ministry until the time, the experience of Engineer Balboa from Davao. How I wish we have also experienced here in the North. I would like to quote from the writings of Mrs. White. On Testimonies, Volume 4, page 389, Mrs. White said, The press is a power, but if its products fall dead for want of men who will execute plans to circulate them, its power is lost. We have seen literature evangelists, regular and student alike. They are going around every day, meeting different people with different status in life. Probably uh, doctors, professors, people in the streets, and they also met people with different problems, but because of their persuasion and their visit, and because of the influence that people have seen on them, they caused a changed life. The portrayal of this evening, we have the experience of Engineer Balboa, meeting uh, one of the Jiro. She has problem in life, but you have seen at the end, he or she changed her life and even became part of the church. And so our dear 
students, dear brethren, I would like to encourage you to give importance of literature. We have many literatures in our hand. Probably we have it, even your quarterlies. Do not throw them or burn them. But instead, we need to share to people. The theme of the North Philippine Union Conference at this time at the Publishing Ministry is share life or share literature and save life. That's why I encourage you, this literature has power to change life. But if no one goes or execute to distribute to the people, its power is lost. So I encourage you, our dear brethren, to give importance of sharing literature. What in so doing, we will also save life. God bless us all. To close our program tonight, let's sing the Bookman Rally song. Shall we all stand? Great God and Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for the privilege and opportunity for the portrayal of the gospel ministry, most likely in the printed page. May you encourage these young people, O oh God, to have the courage to participate in this noble work, for us to become a powerful instrument of Holy Father for the proclamation of the end time message. As we depart in this place of Father God, may we feel the empowerment of the Holy Spirit for us to be convinced and to be part of the end time message. Thank you so much for hearing and answering our prayer. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. <laughs>